Hello everyone, welcome to provide a solution given this nice algebra problem, which is x to power 2, subtract y to power 2, this is equal to 36, and given that x and y, these are element of natural numbers, okay? So what is the value of x and y, okay? Now, solution, x squared subtract y squared, this is equal to 36, Okay, so x squared minus y squared, this is actually in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is actually the difference of two squares, which you can express as a plus b, a minus b, okay? So let's express this, we'll have x plus y, x minus y, this is equal to that the 6, okay? And we have a condition that, we have a condition that x plus y is greater than x minus y, okay? Now, from what we have here, we find that, let's get the factors of 36, okay? We have x plus y, x minus y, this is equal to 36. Now let's get the factors of 36, okay? We have 1 as 36 times 1. When you see that 6 times 1 is the same thing as 36. And then we have 1 times 36. We also have 18 times 2. When you see 18 times 2 is the same thing as 36. We also have 2 times 18. You see 2 times 18 is the same thing as 36. And also we have 9 times 4, all 4 times 9 is the same thing as 36. We also have 12 times 3, and also we have 3 times 12. Now, the condition here is that x plus y is greater than x minus y, okay? So, we have that the 6 is greater than 1, so this is okay. We have that 18 times 2, this is actually greater, x plus y is greater than x minus y. 2 times 18, we find that this is actually this, so this is rejected. 1 times that is this is rejected. We have 9 is greater than 4, so this is okay. Then 4 is less than 9, so this is rejected. We have 12 is greater than 3, so this is okay. And 3 is less than 12, so this is rejected. So here, we have got one, two, three, four. We have four cases. We have four cases. We have four cases here. We have that the six times one. This is case one. We have 18 times two. This is case two. We have 9 times 4, this is case 3. We also have 12 times 3, this is case 4, okay? So let's solve case 1. We have case 1. Now from case 1, we have x plus y, x minus y, this is equal to that the 6 times 1, that the 6 times 1. So in this case, x plus y, this is equal to that the 6, x minus y, this is equal to 1, okay? So let's add these two equations. We have x plus x, this is 2x, and then y plus negative y, this simple cancels, so this is 2x, so we'll have 36 plus 1, this is 37. So if you divide by 2 here, if you divide by 2 here, x is equal to 37 divided by 2, okay? So this is a fraction, okay? So this is not a natural number. This is not a natural number. So this solution is rejected, okay? This solution is rejected. Now, let's solve case 2. Let's solve case 2. Case 2 here is 18 times. We have 
18. We have x plus y, x minus y. This is equal to 18 times 2. So that means that x plus y, this is equal to 18. x minus y, this is equal to 2. Okay? So let's add these two equations. We have x plus x, this is 2x. We have y plus negative y, this cancels out. So we'll have 18 plus 2, this is actually equal to 20. So here, we have 2x is equal to 20. So we divide both signs by 2, by 2. So x is equal to, to 10, okay? So this is a natural number, okay? So we can calculate the corresponding value of y, okay? We have x plus y, this is equal to 18. Now let's substitute the value of x, this is 10 plus y is equal to 18. So y is equal to 18 subtract 10. So that means that y, this is equal to 18 subtract 10, which is equal to 8. Okay. So that means that in case 2, we have x comma y, that is the first solution, as 10 comma 8. So this is the first solution. Now let's solve case 3 and case 4. Let's solve case 3 and case 4 as follows. Now for case 3, for case 3, we have x plus y, x subtract y. This is basically equal to 9 times 4. So this means that x plus y, this is equal to 9. x minus y, this is equal to 4. So let's add these two equations, x plus x, this is 2x, y plus negative y, that is equal to 0. So you'll have 9 plus 4, this is basically equal to 13, divide by 2, divide by 2. So here, x is equal to 13 over 2. So this is a fraction, this is a fraction, and this is not a natural number. This is not a natural number. So that means that the solution is rejected. Let's move to case 4. Case 4. Case 4, we have x plus y. x minus y. This is equal to 12 times 3. So x plus y, this is equal to 12 x minus y, this is equal to 3. So, let's add these two equations. That is x plus x, this is 2x. y plus negative y, that is equal to 0. And 12 plus 3, this is equal to 15. So, we divide both signs by 2. So, that means that x is equal to 15 over 2. So, this is a fraction. Therefore, this is not... A natural number so that means that the solution is rejected this is rejected so that means that we only have one solution we only have one real solution we have x comma y which is equal to 10 and 8 okay so this is the only solution this is the only solution so let's verify that this solution actually satisfies the equation. So if you recall, we end x squared, subtract y squared, this should give us a value of 36. So the value of x is 10, so this is 10 squared, subtract 8 squared, this should give us a value of 36. So 10 squared, this is 100, subtract 8 squared, which is 64, this should give us a value of 36. 100 subtract 64, this is 36, which is equal to 36. And that shows that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So this is the solution. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, 
and subscribe and subscribe my good people subscribe to my channel thank you